Out here in the wild, survival is about preparation. Knowing how to find shelter, water, and food is crucial, but in a crisis, the rules of survival change. You're not just battling the elements anymore, you're facing a whole new set of dangers. When the grid goes down and resources run dry, your neighbors might just turn from friendly faces into desperate competitors. That's why, in a crisis, there are some things you keep close to your chest. Essential gear that could make you a target if the wrong people knew you had it. Today we're going deep into the heart of urban survival, exploring 10 survival items you should never reveal to your neighbors. Look, I'm all about peace, but when chaos descends, you have a duty to protect yourself and your family. That means having the means to defend what's yours. We're talking about personal defense equipment here, firearms, knives, pepper spray, whatever you feel comfortable with and can legally own. This isn't about aggression, it's about deterrence. The last thing you want is to advertise your capabilities to become a target for someone desperate. Keep your personal defense items secure, out of sight, and most importantly, away from prying eyes. Your neighbors don't need to know what you have or how you plan to protect your loved ones. Train with your equipment, be confident in your abilities, but always prioritize de-escalation and avoidance. By the way, if you want even more tips and exclusive information on how to prepare for emergencies, check out our other channel, Preppers Community. We've got videos with strategies you won't want to miss. The link is in the description. Out in the wild, I rely on the sun for warmth, for drying clothes and signaling for help. In a citywide blackout, a solar generator becomes your lifeline. It's the difference between having light, cooking food, and charging essential devices, or being plunged into darkness. But here's the thing. Your neighbors, they might not have thought about this. They might be struggling. And while it's in your nature to help, you have to remember your primary responsibility is to your own family. Having a solar generator and keeping it secret isn't about being selfish, it's about strategic resource management. Charge devices strategically and avoid drawing attention to your power source. We all rely on medication for something, whether it's a prescription or just some basic first aid. In a long-term crisis, access to essential medication could be the difference between life and death. But here's the thing about a crisis. It has a way of stripping away the veneer of civilization. Suddenly, those painkillers you need for your bad back, those allergy meds for your kid, they become valuable commodities. People will get desperate. They might come knocking on your door, looking for help. And while compassion is important, you can't help others if you haven't taken care of your own. Keep a low profile when it comes to your medication stockpiles. You know, I've built shelters, made fires, even escaped dangerous situations using nothing more than my wits and a good set of tools. In a disaster, those multi-purpose tools you have lying around, they become invaluable. Hammers, nails, saws, screwdrivers. They can be used to reinforce your home make repairs, even create makeshift weapons if the situation demands it. But here's the thing. In a crisis, these everyday items become as precious as gold. People will be desperate for anything that can help them survive and they might not be afraid to take what they need. So keep your toolkit under wraps. Out in the wild, shelter can be the difference between life and death. A sudden storm, a drop in temperature, even just the need for a safe place to rest. A good shelter is crucial. Now imagine a fire rips through your neighborhood, or an earthquake makes your home unsafe. You need to move, and you need to move fast. That's where a portable tent or a compact shelter comes in. It gives you the flexibility to get out of a dangerous situation and find a secure place to regroup. But here's the catch. A visible tent is a beacon to others, a sign that you have something they need. Keep your portable shelter hidden, tucked away out of sight. Fire, it's essential for warmth, for cooking, for purifying water. But in a crisis, fire also requires fuel. And fuel, my friends, becomes a precious commodity. Think about it. No power means no gas stations, no deliveries, no way to easily replenish your supply. Now, I'm not suggesting you go full-on doomsday prepper and hoard every last drop of gasoline. But having a safe, hidden reserve of fuel, whether it's propane for a camp stove, gasoline for a generator, or even just some dry wood for a fire, can be a game changer. Store it properly in a well-ventilated area, away from any potential sparks or heat sources. We rely on our credit cards, our debit cards, our digital wallets. But hey, what happens when the grid goes down? When the banks are closed, the ATMs are empty, and those digital numbers on your phone mean nothing? That's when cash becomes king. 
hard, cold cash. And you know what holds its value even better than paper money? Silver, small, discreet, universally recognized as a store of value. Now I'm not saying you should empty your bank account and stuff your mattress with cash, but having a stash of small bills, some silver coins tucked away, it's like having an insurance policy for when the system fails. Out in the wild I've eaten things I'd never thought I'd stomach, but in a crisis, you don't always have the luxury of being picky. When the supermarkets are empty and supply chains break down, having a well-stocked pantry could be the difference between eating and going hungry. We're talking about the essentials here. Rice, beans, lentils, canned goods, food that can last for months, even years without going bad. Build up a reserve gradually, a little at a time so it doesn't raise suspicion, and store it smartly. Rotate your stock, use what you have, and replenish it regularly. You can go without food for days, weeks even, but water, water is life. And in a disaster, clean water is the first thing to go. Now you can stock up on bottled water, sure, but that takes up space. A more efficient solution, a portable water filter. These things are lifesavers. They can turn even the murkiest puddle into something you can drink. Okay, we talked about filtering water, but what about having a ready supply on hand? You need a secret stash, a hidden reservoir that only you know about. Think about it. Those large, opaque water storage containers, they blend right in. Stash them in your basement, in a closet, under a bed, anywhere discreet. And here's a pro tip. Fill old juice bottles or soda bottles with water and store them in your freezer. They act as ice packs, and in a power outage, they'll keep your food cold longer. Plus, once they melt, you've got more drinking water. So there you have it. 10 survival items you should keep secret from your neighbors. Remember, this isn't about being paranoid, it's about being practical. In a crisis, resources become scarce, and people act in unpredictable ways. By being discreet, by keeping your preparations close to your chest, you're not being selfish, you're being strategic. You're ensuring that you and your loved ones have the best chance of making it through. If you found these tips useful, and want more strategies on protecting your family, subscribe to our other channel, Preppers Community. We've got exclusive content and detailed survival strategies. The link is below. These are the 10 survival items you should keep secret.